One lamp or two, sir. Welcome to Derby Nurseries. I'm Tom Tree, and let's see what's looking good this week. The perfect thing for lazy gardeners, it's clematis in a hanging pot. This is filigree, and this is bijou. Now they do tend to come on your lists in dribs and drabs and do sell out each week when they do quite quickly. But as you can see, we've now got some available for next week, so fill your boots. Now, if you haven't seen these before, they don't need to go in the ground like most of our other clematis do. These are designed to stay in the pot. You just cut them down at the end of each season and they'll come again next year. They're naturally compact. They just want to spill over and froth around like a normal hanging basket would, and they'll give you a lot of color all summer long. A couple of other clems to tell you about this week. Two of our best in terms of flower. This is Guiding Promise. Lovely strong plants, loads of bud. And the other one behind me here, conveniently also blue, is the aptly named Multi Blue. Doesn't she look just fabulous? Behind me here, we've got Photinia Louise in a nine litre pot. Not many left now, probably enough for just five or six lucky customers. So fastest finger first. This is Polymonium Golden Feathers. Now, this is only in its second year with us, so many of you may not have even tried this yet, but those of you who have had a shelf are coming back for more. So we've only got a few of these left. They're in full flower. Grab them today if you want to try something new, exciting and award-winning. This bed behind me was full the other day. Goes to show how quickly Sedum Thundercloud is selling. Now on your availability lists in the herbaceous section. Now I mentioned these a few weeks ago, it's Adenophora Gaudi Violet. We've sold about three quarters of the batch, but if you're quick, these ones behind me can be in your garden centre next week. Now this next feature goes out especially to those special few viewers who get a little bit disappointed if I don't feature something brand new every week. It's quite tricky to do on a regular basis, but Paul, this one's for you. Any guesses? Well, I can tell you it's a salvia. Salvia argentia artemis. Although, if you know me really rather too well, you'll know that I have an alternative name for this that I cannot possibly say on screen. What does it do? Well, it jumps out the pot, runs around you three times and sings mammy. Not really. I see it in a garden setting as being a sort of Senecio Angel Wings character, something that's more grown for its foliage. I've got it in a pot. I think it looks excellent on the patio. It's very well behaved. Lovely furry centers there to delight adults and children alike. Salvia Artemis, brand new and on your lists this week. I am contractually obliged to let you know that Potentilla Gold Star is available and on your lists now. I'm sorry. I know Potentillas aren't the sexiest shrub in the world. How can I make it up to you? I know. Let's play Tom Tree's Disco Bingo. Young and keen, 15, and it's Botinia, Little Red Devil. One Night in Heaven, 37, and it's Lavender, Essence Purple. Nice. The and Me, 23, and it's Scabious, Flutter, Rose Pink. This week's top prize, the ever popular Millennial Meat Raffle. Never been kissed, it's Sweet 16, and it's Cordyline Pink Passion at last. This one's for you, Stu. Rise and Shine 29, it's Lavender Havana. Jump and Jive 35, and it's Escalonia Pink L in a 7.5 litre specimen pot. Goodbye Teens, it's number 19, and Lavender on Teebs, full of flower. A meal for two with a hairy view, 69. Bingo! Now, I don't know who was responsible for this, probably Miro, but on bed 69, we have Lavender 
night of passion. You're welcome. Now, the rest of our bed numbers go over 90, so they can't take part in this week's disco bingo. What a shame. But that doesn't mean that the plants they contain are any less special. For example, here we have lavender Lucy Purple, new on this week, and flowering its socks off. Just behind me here on bed 111, I've spotted a small but perfectly formed batch of Cistus Creticus in a three litre pot. I think that's a Bobby Dazzler. Up next, we have this, Agapanthus Brilliant Blue. Something of a Derby speciality. But if you're a new customer, why do we grow it? Well, not only does it have lovely blue flowers, but it's a nice compact Agapanthus. Really useful in a small space where the flower spikes being tall would be a problem. And it throws up an awful lot of shoots on a very young plant. I can count about 15 in here. And what do shoots mean? Prizes in the form of flowers. Yes, you get a lot of flowers on a young plant and those just multiply as the years go on. A lovely, compact little Agapanthus. This week's episode goes out to one of our new viewers, Simon, who specifically asked not to be name checked in the video, but instead asked me to wear my hat backwards as a little discreet nod for him. Now, earlier on, I showed you Lavender Havana in a small pot, and this is just to show you Lavender Havana in a bigger pot, a seven litre patio pot. Last week, we sold half the batch, and this is all that's left. So if these are on your reserve, or you fancy an impulse purchase, grab them quick. Now, I think it's fair to say that nobody enjoys a pink poof more than I, but I'm sure you do too. So get your hands on this sexy little geranium today. Here we have something new for you. It's Digitalis Panzer, and this is in a five litre pot. Why? Because it's more of a digitalis that can be grown on a patio. Throws up an awful lot of flower spikes rather than normal foxgloves that just have one central tall flower spike. Nice and compact, new to the market and sure to delight your customers over the next few weeks. And that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. See you next week.